So there we've got the gluteus maximus from a lateral side. And now we're going to flex the hip. When the hip is flexed, now this is where there's the primary biomechanical advantages given to the gluteus maximus. So when this muscle contracts, it extends the hip when the hip is already in a flexed position from here to there. Also notice what happens is there's our ischial tuberosity. That's your sits bone. That's what if you put your hand underneath your own derriere right now, you feel this prominent bony sticky outy that's touching your seat. When you sit, when you actually have your hip in a flexed position, it exposes that ischial tuberosity. So when you extend the hip, notice the ischial tuberosity is now covered by the mass of the gluteus maximus.